So where are we then? We're on the junction of where the Segre, coming in from our left, meets the Ebro, coming in on our right. What's the biggest fish in here? Mirror, 72, commons, 150. 150 pound commons, whatever. <laughs> the Ebro is the clear water and the Segre is the coloured water, where it's in flood at the minute. Yeah. It's where they're mating and the fish, fish is shining along that clear water line. Here's the Roy Castle, just behind us. How about that for a view? But, oh, we're away! Oh, it's this one. <laughs> I thought for a second we were away, but it was a Spanish swan. What you got to say? El Swano. El Swano. Catfish tours, but we're carping, aren't we? Yep. It's um, pretty You're the man though, aren't you? Everyone says Ed's the man. I'm not too bad at my job, mate. We've got Ed and the castle in. Ed and Roy. Ed and Roy. We're in. We're in. And a bad start, is it? We've only been fishing an hour. Just fishing out to the edge of the clear water. First one well, of one of our scouse buddies is getting in there, mate. Hey, All right, there, la. Don't get in there, la. Here we go. First one I've ever seen. In she goes. Go on, la. Ah, well in, la. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, where are we? We are cruising. We're going up to the dam to see if we can spot some carps. Open her up, big boy, open her up. Yeah. We're not here to play. We're not here to what? We're not here to play. <laughs> Well, my friends, you want to see something mad? Have a look at these bad boys. Just jumping out in the water. We're at the dam, <laughs> and there are literally carp throwing themselves out the water. Bosh. Bosh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Got that one. Look at that fishing up there as it's coming. Oh, baboosh. <laughs> Well, I'm not catting, but Gareth's put a big cat rod out for one of his customers. Ironically, his company's called Catfish Tours. <coughs> and a man that I thought was from Lancashire, but he's actually from Yorkshire. Thank you. He's bent into a pussy. Do you, do you do a lot of tugging? <laughs> when you're in Spain. Yeah, get up, eat it. You like a good tug, mate. <laughs> Look at that bit of cranking. Done that before, ain't you? Aye. Right. So you do it. How big is that one, Gareth? Well, see the podgy one, lot. What? The size of that belly, isn't it? Sixty. Yeah. Sixty, seventy. It's got a big old belly, isn't it? <laughs> Good, I don't know. We found some carp. We were uh, just going to take a nice boat journey upstream to where the uh, carps were. Instead we're uh, just floating around in the middle of the river. Because <laughs> Brett's new boat's broken down. Again. <laughs> Ed, what you got to say? At this point, not a great deal, mate. <laughs> After 48 hours of being here, and Brett doing, numer Brett doing numerous errands, we're actually fishing in a swim with carp in it. If you're coming to Spain and you need a helping hand in more ways than one, he's your man. Doesn't say a lot, look, he's silent. Right, hopefully next time we press records we'll be playing one. How are you feeling, son? Yeah, there's a lot of big fish showing down here, so we had to move. Why haven't we had one? We've only been here two minutes. Yeah, but we've been up this end, haven't we, for a while. Why haven't we had one? Don't know if it's that goo, innit? Don't blame it on the goo. <laughs> Don't blame it on good. <laughs> Don't blame it on a good time. <laughs> blame it on the boogie. <laughs> Are you feeling local genius? Better never further up the river. Yeah? Yeah, a lot better. 
We've been watching fish show up here for the last <laughs> hour and a half while we've been sat further down. But they were they were showing around us. But what do you think? Because like even even you're saying it seems a bit out of sorts, aren't you? Yeah, but the fish were showing more regularity to our sense. left. Yeah, from the moment we arrived, really, and we were just seeing fish in and around gaps in the weed. Yeah. So I just pop down one rod's in there, and then if I work my way along, one just nutted out to the right of my boat. One's on the reeds there. Brett's got his about half a rod length off the reeds, so he's got a swan shot on. He <laughs> can't reach. And then you got, got one line on my reels. You got one mid river, in you as well. Yeah, I've been seeing more fish in the middle, so I'm just giving it a little go. I've just had one nut out just to the right of me. What does nutting out mean? Just start basically dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Brett's been been coming here for quite a few years, and. Uh, <laughs> it's fair to say coming into this particular spot is a uh, is a banker. Is an absolute banker. We can't for, buy a bite for about <laughs> five hours. I have two theories for this. One is uh, they're doing something else, not sex, just uh, sleeping maybe, eating something else. But surely you'd pick up one bite, or they're not feeding hard enough, and our presentation is awful in that weird weed out there. What are you saying, Brett? You've forgotten the other third option. What's that? We didn't bring any potatoes. Or we didn't have no potato. Patatas bravas. But we've had an absolute beast here. Here we go. Oh! oh you go. Yeah, you're right. Is that right? Is that right? Good man. Yes! What are the chances of that? We've only tempted fate! <laughs> We've actually tempted fate. No, I don't tempt it too much, we ain't got it in yet. That is unbelievable. Well, last time you saw us, my mate Brett was playing a carp, which then put him in the reeds, which he then proceeded to lose. He then finally caught one in the dark. <coughs> My throat is killing me. Yeah, he lost one. Lost yeah, one. so he had three bites on one rod. My brilliant Spain adventure continues with zero bites, couple of Xander, four Xander in a match, and no carp. First round. And we're in. His name is Whitey. We're just having a little chin wag. We're back behind Brett's Island. This is a better fish. Don't get nervous, Brett. Yeah, well, it's only out here in mid channel, big boy. Oh, yeah, it's a good one. It's a big old fat Ebro. See if I can net. Let's go. Let's go. Hello. Yes, we're in, we're in sort of. Uh, oh man. Oh. Hook come out in the net, look. <laughs> Hook's come out here, look. Hook's come out there, just in the net, last second. Still in, oh no, it's still in. Oh, it's a hell of a. Oh yes, big son. That's a cheese. Yes, it. That's bigger than it. Excellent. <laughs> There's no way on God's green earth that's ever been 30 pound. That's 40, 45, surely. Look at it. That's an absolute grand fromage. 46 pounds eight. Have a look at that. That is what we're here for. I thought you said these Ebro carp are small. Look at that, man. That is unbelievable. That is a proper lump. <laughs> look at that. A getting... proper wild, uncaught fish. Probably never seen a hook before. Not a pay lake fish, there's no name to this fish, there's no service history. It's just a proper wild carp. Off a boat, in a boat. Off a boat. <laughs> Couldn't catch him on a prawn. <laughs> Caught it on a pellet. <laughs> Look at that fish. Still got blue. the curtains in his mouth. Unbelievable techers. Right, let's get some pickies. Let's get some shots. Yeah. 